So these are the RGB WW Smart LED bulbs from Govey. Now I picked this four pack up from Amazon at about $35 and I wanted to share the unboxing and first time setup of the bulbs with you so you can get a better idea whether or not you want to give these Goveys a shot. Now these things do 16 million colors, they can be fully automated within the Govey app and they can also be controlled by smart hubs like Google Home or Alexa. So let's get this thing unboxed, we'll set it up from within the app and we'll get our first automation going. All right. So here we go with the unboxing. We do have a nice little quick guide, full on user manual, and a note about the Govey DreamView uh, syncing system. Straight away we have all four of our bulbs individually packaged. We're gonna pull one out now. Very nice, so not much else in the box, just what we need. Um, let's go ahead and see how this thing looks. All right, so here's the setup. There's the lamp we're gonna be uh, kind of demoing this unit on, um, and it's using the default bulb that it came with, right? So I'll turn it on. Um, for me, one of the main reasons why I wanted to get uh, this Govey bulb was because this light is super jarring. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna look on camera, but for me, when I'm sitting here looking at my setup, um, I mean, it really is bright. Uh, so not only did I want to match the exact RGB color that I have on the background there, on the backsplash behind the uh, monitor there, uh, I wanted to definitely get this a little bit lower so I can actually stand uh, looking at my PC. So uh, let me plug this thing in and uh, we'll power it on. All right, so I just plugged the bulb in and I have not powered it on yet. So, um, I've got my phone here with my Govey app loaded up and we are going to turn that bulb on right now. Wow, that is actually really bright. Maybe even brighter than the other one, but obviously we can control it at least. So we will get it preloaded into the app here. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna to do to get into the app, click the plus sign in the top right corner. And a lot of times it's gonna scan for nearby devices and detect it based off of Bluetooth. So uh, right there you can see at the top of the screen, we've got the H6008 with uh, what I presume is probably the last four of the MAC address. Um, but we can add it right there. If you don't see it, not a problem. Go ahead and search for it um, and you can add it that way. But we're gonna just click add since we found it. And there we go, now we can name it. We're gonna go ahead and name this one Office, office Lamp. <laughs> Connect it to our Wi-Fi, there we go. And here we are gonna skip the third party voice assistance. I don't yet have any of that uh, at my house, but stay tuned and we'll go ahead and make a video on that later. So it's very simple to use the app. Once you come on in here, you can immediately start playing around with what you're doing. Um, you can slide from the warmest settings. So this is about 2700K. We'll go all the way over to a very crisp 6500K. Now that's obviously way too blue for my tastes. Very bright, honestly. If this was in your kitchen or something, it would be good. And I'll say that that was one of the things that I was worried about when I was buying this product, uh, is how do the natural tones look, right? This is a nice warm uh, 2700K. Let me bring that brightness down 50%, maybe even lower. Let's bring it down to about 25%. And that's kind of more where I'm at, maybe even, maybe even 10%, honestly, because it's still giving you a lot of very good light at only 10%, nice and warm, feels kind of good. Uh, but like I was saying, I was worried about the natural tones because obviously if you want to crank this thing up and get crazy with your RGB, right, blue looks good. Um, I know this light blue looks really good, especially on my walls, I've got the English channel blue, uh, but purple looks really nice as well. Obviously I, I knew that all these RGB colors were gonna look good, um, but I was worried about what the natural tones were gonna look like. And I'm, I'm pretty happy that it does look very nice and warm, very natural. And um, the other benefit is that I can control, obviously, the, uh, the intensity of that light. All right, so the last thing that we'll talk about here today is setting up a nice little automation uh, to turn these lights on and off at a specific time of day. Uh, so from the homepage here, click up into the automation ribbon in the top, then we'll do the plus sign on the schedule icon. Uh, we'll do this by week, right? And we'll have this repeat every single day. It does that by default, so no problems there. Uh, so what do we wanna do? We wanna turn these lights off at a certain time. We'll choose 11 a.m. and we'll see what happens on video. Uh, so we'll do plus, we'll do time, and we will set 11 a.m. here. 
very nice and simple. There we go. Uh, now for add action, what we need to do is add both of these devices into the automation, right? So we click the plus sign, we click office lamp, um, and essentially we'll just say off and we'll do the yellow check at the top right. So that's gonna turn the office lamp off at 11 o'clock. Repeat the same thing for the desk back lighting. On off, boom, there we go. And you can do a whole lot of crazy things here, right? You can change the colors, um, you can dim them at a certain time. Uh, that is very cool. So we'll click the uh, yellow check mark in the top right hand corner to finalize this and you can see uh, right there on the uh, weekly planner, kind of the, the time dial, uh, right at 11 o'clock, there's a power icon. So let's give this a minute. We'll set the mood and watch the automation take place. All right, so that's really all I have to share about these Govy RGBWW smart LED bulbs. I uh, hope you like what I did there with the automation. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to include a link for you guys down below if you liked it. I hope you learned something about the product, uh, whether it's for you, whether or not. For me, they're cheap, they're easy. Um, the warm color tones look pretty good, which is one thing I was worried about. Uh, but I hope you find success with the light bulbs as well. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching the video. Peace out.